Welcome inside the V-22 Osprey factory. And today, we'll show you how America builds its hybrid helicopter plane. Watch the clearance on rack 12. Okay, easy now, set it down right there. The enormous cylindrical autoclave door slides open, releasing a burst of steam. Inside, the fully cured robotic armors position the V2 slodge structural frame. Alignment is confirmed on my side. Okay, moving into position with the fasteners. All systems green. Confirmed. Pressure holding steady at 5,200 PSI. Confirmed. No leaks detected on the main line. Check the alignment on section four. Ensure the locking mechanism is secure. It's secure, supervisor. Moving to the next one. Vibration levels are stabilizing. Looking good on my end. Copy that. Proceeding with the final docking sequence. Check the thermal reading on sector four. It's spiking slightly. Yes, but the torque remains stable. It's within acceptable parameters for this phase. Caucasian female technicians assemble the long composite perverter blades on a horizontal jig. A robotic resin applicator coats the carbon fiber surface evenly. Red line secured. Check the pressure clamp. Blue and yellow are set. Torque is good. Initiating scan sequence. Reaching maximum tolerance. Readings are nominal. Go ahead and release. Alignment is spot on. Ready for final torque. Confirmed. Panel, panel secure. The difference is holding at 0.2 millimeters, sir. All parameters are green. Looks good. I'll sign off on the synchronization. Technicians use a transparent test panel to check fuel line integrity. Continuity check on line four. Here. Solid red light, looking good down here. Secure the final latch. Latched. Latched. Airflow steady at 0.9 meters per second. Finalizing the inner panel bolts now. Torque checks are green. Roger that. Proceed with closing sequence when ready. The radar array emits controlled pulses toward a calibration wall marked with geometric patterns. Technicians monitor weight. 
In the cockpit of V-22 Osprey, engineers attach the dual control sticks with electronic fly-by-wire connectors. The deviation is within the micron tolerance. Yes, alignment is good. We are go for installation. In a dedicated assembly station, engineers install the swash plate onto the rotor hub of V22 Osprey. We have alignment on the bolts. Engaging the torque arm now. Sequence complete. Pressure confirmed green. OK, bring it down slowly. Watch the clearance on the starboard side. Looks good, steady as she goes. Right. Fiber optic lines and shielded power cables snap into ports labeled red, green, and blue. Diagnostic. The pressure is steady at 50 PSI. Acknowledged. Flow rate looks good. Engineers install side panels on the nasal of V-22 Osprey, sealing the Rolls-Royce AE-1107C engine inside. All right, steady on the mount. It's seated. Running the scope now, check the airflow path. The turboshaft engine is tested on an external bench rig before installation verification. The engine spins up. The data stream confirms the vortex shedding is minimized. Acknowledged. We are maintaining full power for five more minutes. Hydraulic actuators responsible for tilting the nacelles are tested at maximum resistance of V22 Osprey. Red pressure. Maximum deflection achieved. Data looks good. The structure is stable. Rotate the nacelle assembly counterclockwise. Pay close attention to the torque specifications on the secondary manifold. Understood. Examining now. Technicians load the latest fly-by-wire control firmware into the flight control computer. A progress bar glows blue on the cup. It's stable at 85.25 degrees. Confirmed on the tablet, we have synchronization. Copy that, aligned here too. Engineers install the APU into its rear fuselage housing of V2 Osprey. The compact unit slides onto shock. A white-suited technician inspects the wing root connection using a handheld X-ray scanner. The scanner projects skeletal in The V-22 is towed by a low-profile electric tug into a long, pressurized, automated paint tunnel. Robotic sprayers apply the radar absorbent material coating to critical edges of the wings, nacelles, and nose area of V-22 Osprey. The painted V-22 Osprey sits under massive infrared curing arrays. The entire airframe glows slightly from the heat. Okay, this panel is secure. Check the alignment on the next one. Looks good from here. Hand me the next snap. Look at the dispersion pattern on screen three. Readings are nominal. The drop sequence is stable.
seat secured and fully operational. Roger that. Marking complete on the checklist. Okay, the marker is set at 0.4. Applying the required load now. We are seeing the deflection peak right there. Pressure is stable. Looking good on the retraction cycle. Confirmed. Cables connected. Continuity check starting now. Looks good on the schematic. No interruptions detected. Pressure stabilizing at 5200. Confirmed. Starting the cycle test now. APU door open, initiating start sequence. Monitoring gauges, looking good. Flight controls are green. Confirmed, Captain. All systems nominal. Technicians watch from ground level as the ailerons and last boost. A purpose control. Approaching zero degrees now. Data stable. Confirm retraction sequence initiated. Hydraulic pressure trends are stable. Noted. The sequence timing is within parameters. Technicians attach a transparent oil flow tester to the engine service port of V-22 Osprey. Engineers place miniature vibration sensors along nacelle support beams of V-22 Osprey. Left engine ignition armed. Initiating start sequence. Advancing throttles now. RPM is climbing steady. Lag is within parameters. Levels are rising faster than projected. I see it. Monitor the gearbox temperature. The entire tilt rotor system undergoes load testing. Digital load cells attached to the wing root flash. The V-22 Osprey is rolled onto a reinforced hover test pad. Technicians connect external monitoring cables while the pilot checks controls. Initiating lateral drift test now. Tracking the movement, we show three centimeters. Copy that, returning to center. The nacelles remain vertical while the V-22 Osprey aircraft slowly rotates clockwise. Testing yaw. Tow bar locked, confirm green light on the panel. Green. Start the pull, watch the shadows. All right, that's the nacelles, rotors, and fuselage seams. Landing gear and fuel ports are secure. All green. Roger that. Checklist complete. The V-22 lifts off the ground in open air, hovering steadily above the runway. Dust
The nacelles lock fully horizontal, transforming the V-22 Osprey from helicopter to airplane mode mid-flight. Look at the stabilization graph here, right within parameters. Confirmed. The strut compression was textbook.